hello friends my name is Taufik and you are watching my channel graphics then so in this video we are going to see how we can convert any black object to white object or white color so let's get started so for this particular example I have chosen a black shirt you can choose any object that you want so I'm going to convert this black shirt into a white shirt uh, before that I'm going to convert it to convert the shirt into some other color so basically what that means is we can convert the black color into any color but it is particularly hard to convert black color into white because they are contrasting colors so first of all I am going to select the brush so I already made the selection so I simply go to I'll simply go to select load selection and select the selection so this is our selected already now what I'll do is I'll create a group from the layers panel create new group now and again with the group selected you can change the name if you want double click that doesn't really matter but if you want you can change the name or keep it as it is and select the group and click on the layer option layer mask option so that whatever we do it only affects the selected area that is the layer mask so uh, after this I am going to create a adjustment layer a solid color so choose whatever color that you want so let's say I will choose this red color and I am going to change the blending mode to color see, it is already looking realistic but as you can see here the the shading or the tint is brighter as compared to this particular shade so what if you want to make it realistic or nearer to this shade or make it brighter so I'm going to choose another adjustment layer so I'm going to choose levels you can again you can either choose levels or curves but I think a levels is pretty basic and easy to handle but if you want you can choose curves it doesn't matter both do the same thing so uh, I'll tell you in short what these points are so this is basically this point controls the darkness or the shadows this controls the shadows this or the it makes it makes the image dark this controls brightness which is called as highlights and this controls midtones in between the two points this is shadows midtones this is darkness brightness and midtones which also controls the contrast this is this point denotes the darkest point in the image and this point denotes the brightest point in the image so first of all I'm going to make it brighter by clicking on the highlights button like this and again we can play with the contrast to make it more realistic like this so I think this shade is looking pretty good closer to this particular shade so this is how we can choose any color if I double click on this let's say I'll choose blue color so it looks realistic green color but as I said earlier it is difficult to achieve the not difficult but it is more challenging to achieve the white color because white color is contrast to black color so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose any color which has zero saturation you can choose any color so saturation has to be zero the hue this is hue saturation and brightness hue and brightness doesn't matter so make sure the saturation is zero hue and brightness doesn't matter keep the saturation to zero choose any color and again press ok now using the levels panel again play with these points make it bright and again we need to move this darkest point like this so as you can see it is already looking a bit whitish but we want to achieve white color so this is looking white again you can change the contrast if you want so this is looking white pretty white adjust to make it more realistic this looks pretty good to me you 
this is looking a bit more, more realistic so this is how we can easily convert black color into any color and this particular example i have given you the example of a shirt and earlier i also show you shown you other colors as well and particularly white color so this is how we can change black color effectively into any color so do give it a go and try this out it's pretty easy and let me know in the comments so that's it for this video if you find this video useful please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video until then bye bye and cheers